it's a wonderful day to be able to, to see one more step in the reclamation of such an important piece of property. I mean, this piece of ground went unappreciated for decades and decades and decades. Uh, but it really, this is kind of where the Battle of Fredericksburg is decided. It's won and lost on this ground. And so to be able to reclaim this ground and fully tell that story and walk in the footsteps of that history is amazing. I'm excited to see the, the, the Pearson House come down. I'm excited to, to see the, the the Slaughter Pen Farm restored back to its historical significance. Uh, the vast open fields, the vistas, the panorama, all of this is the thing that, that captures an understanding of what transpired out here. Uh, the house had a good long run to it, but historically it wasn't part of the landscape that the soldiers would have recognized. Uh, when it's removed, I would hope that this landscape looks like something that the soldiers would have recognized. and. A lot of students of the war will now come to understand what they looked at and what they experienced. Super significant, especially after all the years of trying to pay the mortgage and get it paid off. And the house was part of the uh, bond and mortgage deal, so it had a stand, and now it doesn't. So uh, it cleared this off, and now we're looking at it back as pretty much like it was in 1862. So it's a very significant day. Well, this whole property is so significant to the preservation movement around here. It absolutely is. When you, when you study the Battle of Fredericksburg, most people will go off to the Park Service and go to the Stone Wall and figure they've seen the battle. But as Frank O'Reilly, who wrote the book on this property here, and will tell you this the battle was won and lost on this property right here. This is where the Battle of Fredericksburg uh, main event happened. So to save the 200 plus acres here from uh, possible expansion of airports or, or houses or whatever is a, is a huge, huge plus for the preservation community and. Uh, honestly still stands as the most expensive one. Well, in the Central Virginia Battlefields Trust, I mean, this is what you do every day. You're, you're trying to, to and, you're, and you're being successful continuing to save land around here. Yeah, this is, uh, I've always said you could put a fence around Virginia, especially this area of Virginia, and preserve it all from all the colonial and Civil War uh, history here. But you can only save so much, you should only save so much, but when you have a story to tell, it's important to save the properties that so many fought and fell over and that you really need to, uh, tell the story and to uh, remember those who gave their basically last full measure. Um, a lot of people drive by and they're like, oh, it's a wide open field, okay. Um, but if you get out here and follow the walking trail that's here and look at the interpretive signs that are out here, um, you'll get a sense of how important this piece of ground was. Being able to reclaim this particular spot on the battlefield and tear down this house will allow for even more interpretation so people can better understand the story even more. You and I walked this a couple of years ago, and the topography out here is what said that that's worth the price of admission. I like to talk about battlefields as primary sources because they're the most important source we have for understanding how a battle unfolded. And I love this battlefield in particular because it's a great case study in topography. It looks like a wide open field, but if you walk across it, you see these subtle things that unfold as you go across the landscape, and that really sheds a lot of light on why things happen the way they did here. But as, of course, as great, as great as this has been, the, the buildings on it, you always had to kind of look past that. The fact that they're gone now is really changes things. It really does. Um, without the buildings here, you're able to see what it looked like in its wartime appearance. And I think that's a real treat. When so many battles are infringed upon by development, uh, you don't get to see what the soldiers saw. And here you really have that opportunity, complete with a railroad track and everything that was here at the time of the battle. When you, you compare like what's here and you go down just a you go down just a little bit further like to Pelham's corner and it's just a little postage stamp this is the real deal real deal and and so much of the Fredericksburg battlefield was small little patches or isolated uh, or one-sided parts of the story here you have the wide open expanse both sides of the story uh, and an epic sweeping uh, bit of history